Hello, everyone. We are Drama Duo. Today, we will be discussing The King Eternal Monarch, episode 14. In the beginning of episode 14, we see that um, Soon Jae um, finds himself in the care center in the one secret room that they had. Yes. So, Evelyn was correct. Yes! I was correct. Thanks for my clue I guess I gave her without <laughs> even knowing. I guess so, yes. So, yes, uh, she he eventually finds himself and he was super, super shocked. He's like, <gasps> oh my god. He finds his doppelganger Yo, himself. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, his doppelganger, but you know, I think mm -hmm. he has so much stuff going through his head. He's like, the fuck? Yeah. I would be too if I was in his shoes. Mm -hmm. um, anyways, and then it jumps back to um, when um, Lee Golan gets poisoned by Luna because Luna's trying to steal mm -hmm. the flute that um, that Lee Gong has. But, like, before that happens, um, I guess Jo Young comes back from the store or whatever when he went out to get something and sees her and then, you know, she just escapes. I'm just like, okay. I know. Okay, that scene was <laughs> so stupid. Like, they... They just use her character to do a lot of, um, I was there and then I ran away kind of I thing. I know. It's like, okay, like the ending of episode 13 was like, oh my god, like it left in such a big like cliffhanger, you know, like, mm -hmm. oh my god, Luna's going to kill him or bring him to freaking Lee Lim, but then she just escapes without anything. I know, like, what's the point of her character? Like, what a fucking letdown. That scene was just stupid. But yeah, eventually, you know, they take him to this lady that helps save his life and mm -hmm. he lives. After Lee Gon gets treated for being poisoned, he goes to his gate, and coincidentally, Lee Lim is at his own gate, you know? And so they both cross into the land in between, or into the gate at the same time. And, um, like, this scene was, at first, very confusing to me, because you see them go into, you know, that land in between but then you realize that they're not at the same place i was really confused because i'm like okay what are they gonna meet each other but then they don't and then we hear the yo-yo boy's voice come in and it narrates that when both sides of the flute they are in the gate at the same time um both the axis of time and space are simultaneously uh, form inside the gate. So when the flu, when when the flu is fully in the gate, time and space, I guess, like the laws of times and space, happens in the land in between, inside the gate. So we see in this scene that the seeds that Teul planted in that land starts to grow. They're trying to show that okay, time is working, space is working, whatever, and that land now. Mm -hmm. Also, we hear from the yo-yo boy that uh, when the whole flute is in the gate, it takes you to the moment when you wish to save yourself. And uh, I guess this is how Lee Gon and Lee Lim went back in time. Lee Lim goes back in time and gets there an hour before the assassination and warns his, his past self to kill the crown prince instead of the king mm -hmm. but you know Lee Lim is at that time in the past is a very angry man so he didn't like want to listen to the future Lee Lim so that he just like freaking slashed his throat with the sword that uh, the future Lee Lim had there uh -huh. so I'm just like that's it? That's I know! That's how he dies? It was so stupid that's like, okay Lee Lim throughout this whole freaking drama he has like this like like character where he's like smart mm -hmm. and like invincible and he goes back in the past just to be killed by his past self yeah so I'm just it's like, so stupid like, like that's it i've been watching this whole drama for just that i know it's just such <laughs> a letdown Lee Gong goes back in time and tries to save his younger self but then he in my opinion i think he failed because he was mm -hmm. trying to catch lee lim so um, he was so after that he was like running after Lee Lim, but then on the way in the hallway he met uh, Lady Noel. Mm -hmm. So he was like, "Oh, excuse me, like can you please let me through?" I and know. I'm just like, "Dude, just Dude, just push that lady." Yeah, well, <laughs> just ignore her and just freaking go on your merry way and freaking try to catch Lee Lim. Like, come on, you're really wasting wasting enough 
like time. Not, right? It's not like Lady No can stop you. She's old. I know. She's just asking who the fuck you are, and you could just like, you don't even know. Like, just go. I know. I was just like, he had to stop. He's like, I would tell you my identity. I'm the king. Yeah, I'm like from the future. I'm like, okay. I'm like, that's He's such so a wasted part of the scene. It's like, just, like, so stupid. After the meeting with Lady You Know, he tracks down the blood trail and it eventually leads up to a guy that was like trying, like, I think he was trying to close the gate, right? Mm-hmm. And he noticed that it was his cousin, which is um, Prince Buyong's son. Mm-hmm. And he's like, So you were the one who let Lee Lim get away. I know. So I'm just like, What oh the my fuck? God. I, why, were he, why was he even working with uh, Lee Lim? Because, like, well, I mean, I guess they're, I don't know. I guess fighting for the throne. I don't know. Maybe he felt like. Maybe well, he held um, he learned. He was just like a stupid teenager. During I that guess, time too. but it was like so dumb, and I was like, oh, "God, this kid is so dumb. Why did you do that?" Lee Gong gets like kind of angry, so he like freaking shoots him in the knee, <laughs> and it's like, "This is what you desire." Bam. Yeah. And it's <laughs> like, dude, just kill him. I know. Like, why you need to injure him? Like, you could just freaking kill him. So, like, in the future, mm-hmm. you probably won't have any more issues. Yeah. But you know, maybe he thought of Prince Bu Yong, be like, well, I don't know. Son. I think. I think Lee Gong is so stupid. Like, he his, doesn't his choices. Ki- he doesn't kill the right people. I'm just saying. True. He just lets them go, like, past, you know, yeah. and then he meets them again in the future. And he shit causes happens. more shit, right? Yeah. It's like, dude, just end it. Just, just end, end their it. life. Just end it right You're the there. king, you know? They can't say anything. That was treason, anyways, because he was helping the trade and Lee yeah. Lam. Like, come on. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what you're thinking. <laughs> After Lee Gong wasn't able to find Lee Lim, he goes through the portal and um, I think he tries to go back to K World, but uh, he realizes that when he went in through and passed to K World, that it's still 1994, and so he's like, "Holy shit, I'm still in the same time! Like, what the hell is happening?" So he tries to go back to. Um, Sea World. He actually does go back to Sea World. I mean, and he realized, okay, it's still the same time, still the same year, and he's like, holy shit. Um, he doesn't know what to do, so he goes back again to K World, and he realizes that um, that he can only move laterally now, which I'm like, what the fuck does that even mean, right? I don't, I don't freaking know. <laughs> but I guess what it means is that he can't like jump time no more like it's back to like normal time speed i guess because he only has uh, half of the oh, flute yeah. lee gong realizes that to get back to his uh time he'll need to be inside the gate for four months mm-hmm. so four months will equal 26 years which is what he needs to get back to so while in the k world and in 1994 he realizes that um it's during the same time as when his doppelganger died. So he goes to the payphone in the bamboo forest and calls the police and tells the police, like, okay, you guys need to go and, like, look at this family because they're going to be killed or something like that. And then the police tells him, like, oh, wait, they're dead already. How did you know about this, right? They just died, like, was it, like, the day before? Or yeah, something, or something like, like that. that? And they're like, who are you? Whatever. And Lee Gong's like, holy shit, I'm too late. And he hangs up. <laughs> so Lee Gong is stuck in 1994 and he doesn't really know what to do. So I think he goes, like, just walk around K World, I guess. And he realized that his flute is disappearing. And um, he actually goes to see Tae Ul when she was a little girl. And, uh, you know, he's kind of like a little creeper. <laughs> <laughs> In a way, because, like, a strange man is talking to a little girl. Okay? Yeah, he's like, I know your name. Your name is... Jong Tae Yeah, Jong Tae And she's like, how do you know my name? Are you a creeper? Or what did oh, he say? He's like, are you a kidnapper? Yeah, are you a kidnapper? <laughs> and he's like, oh, you haven't changed at all. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, and then he just leaves. Uh, okay. Like, totally creepy, but sure. <laughs> Teo gets notified about the case of Lee Gon's double gear stuff. And she found out that in 1994, that Lee Gong actually reported about that family that they might be in danger to the police. And I guess, like, they're telling us that um, that somehow he is, when the choices that he's making in the past is making new memories for the people in the present. Mm-hmm. Because um, we all we see that Tae Ul gets a new memory of Lee Gong in the past that, like, he came and met her when she was little, and that just, like, I guess surprising 
came to her head and she's just like, oh my god, I <laughs> met him in the past. <laughs> Taitul then goes to the bamboo forest and she's like waiting for him to see if maybe he'll just pop out of nowhere like he did before but sadly he doesn't and then she remembers him telling her something about like oh when I get here I'll call you from the payphone or something so she walks to the payphone and she leaves some money in the the phone I guess mm -hmm. thing change thing and then suddenly Taeua gets a freaking new memory of um Li Gong. It takes us like back like it's like kind of like a flashback. We see her in 2016. She's like eating with her friends and her um co-workers and everything mm -hmm. and she's like looking out the window and she's kind of like looking at somewhere but we don't know yet <laughs> and then like we start seeing like all their phones like ring oh, yeah, but yeah. then like they're ignoring it they're like who the fuck is calling us? we don't know this phone number and then when um shin Jae's phone rings he's like do you guys know this it's like i feel like he's calling all of us and they're like i don't know maybe it's like a um, like a prank call about yeah, or like whatever. the spam shit. So he's like, okay, whatever. And he answers it, and then it's Lee Gong, and Lee Gong's like, I know who you are, you're Shin Jae, and I want you to give the phone to Taeul, who's sitting next to you. And he's like, what the fuck? And then um, Taeul looks out the window, and then we finally see who she's looking yeah, at. Yeah, see and this creeper guy out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she sees fucking like Lee Gong outside the freaking restaurant, and he's on a payphone, and mm -hmm. he's just like looking at them like creepily. And she's like, okay. I think it's that motherfucker outside. So she like gets she just up. goes and walks up. And <laughs> yeah, she goes up and to her, and she like just kind of confronts him. We go and tells her like, oh, I don't have time to explain everything to you, but just remember that you're gonna meet me again in the future, and I'm gonna be wearing this fancy jacket with bunch of buttons, and we're gonna meet again in Guang Hong Mun. And it just cuts back to. Uh, uh, Taeul back in the payphone in the bamboo forest and she's like oh my god I meet him again when I'm like 27 years old and like, oh my god he's coming to find me and everything mm -hmm. and then she's like it's all emotional and then she suddenly sees like some writing appear on the payphone. I'll be freaked out. <laughs> I know and it says like 2016 and it's Lee Gong he wrote that oh be patient and wait for me I'm like coming for you or whatever like I'm gonna find you or whatever mm -hmm. stuff like that they go go see Jo Young, um, but this is when uh, it's the roll boat contest. So he goes and talks to Jo Young, saying that like um, he needs to give him the access key, card key, I guess, to the horse racetrack, and put it in the black bunny hoodie, and to leave it on the bench so that like, cause supposedly that's for Luna to come and grab. And then Jo Young's like, "What? Like, what do you mean we have to do this?" And he's like, "Just do it. It's a king's order." Mm -hmm. So I'm like, at this point, I was kind of confused because I'm like, what does this scene have to do with, with anything? anything? Because <laughs> I know. if you watch throughout this episode, they didn't really explain anything about that. That scene was so confusing yeah. to me. I'm like, why did he need to do that? So yeah, basically, it, this scene is just for Luna to get the card key, I guess, to go to the horse track. And, and to make it. him go into the bamboo forest. Yeah, I guess. And that was it. But I, I don't, it doesn't make sense though to me. Like if that was true, then wouldn't Jo Young already know that? Oh wait, he saw Lee Gong there. It was kind of weird. He was all in black, and he told Jo Young to I do think, all the weird well, stuff. But this is a new memory, so uh. yeah. So, but it's a new memory. So wouldn't all of that somehow happened? I don't. I don't know. You guys understand? Like why the. This scene doesn't make if sense. If somebody knows, please tell us. Yeah, unless they're going to explain that, oh, Luna is actually going to do something different with the card key yeah. that, like, Lee Gong gives to her, you know? Yeah. But still, please tell us because we're still confused. confused. So, like, if, like, I'm just saying, like, okay, so if Lee Gong is doing something new in that in this moment, um, how the fuck did Luna get into the horse racetrack the first time round, then, right? How the fuck did you get there? Mm. <laughs> Don't fucking know. It's so confusing. Don't know. See, this is what happens when, uh, when you start messing up the timeline and everything. Then it doesn't really make sense anymore. It's too it much gets like, muddy. It gets yeah, muddy. It's like so scared and stuff and confusing. It doesn't and make sense. 
at the end of episode 14, we see Luna, like, hanging around Teul's father and Nari, and it looks like they were gonna, like, go cook something. And then, like, we see uh, Luna, like, catching Teul spying at her from a far distance. I'm like, what the fuck? Hey, well, come on. Do better. Do You're better. a police. I mean, like, detective. What the fuck? How do you get caught in this shit? <laughs> but, so, like, Tae follows Luna into, like, this dark alley. Mm -hmm. And then, like, Tae is all, like, shocked. And she's like, oh, my God. You do look exactly like me. Like, no fucking doll. She's your double gang, ho. Yeah, for real. And then, like, and then, like, fucking, like, Luna just, like, runs and stabs her. You know? I'm like, oh, my God. Fucking Tae like, Oo. what she, the fuck? She's, in, like, she's, like, a freaking black belt. Like, I'm like, how, why, do you, how do you fucking just let her stab you and, like, just stand there like a dummy? And, like, what, weren't you even fucking prepared? Like, She's how? too shocked that her doppelganger looks like her. I guess. I mean, she shouldn't be shocked, that shocked, because, you know, she saw Unsop and Joyeong. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, well, at least... Taeul is able to call uh, for help after Luna leaves. Mm -hmm. And um, <clears throat> so, you know, we know that she's going to get help and she probably won't die because she was able to call somebody. While she's laying in the alley and like slowly bleeding out to death, she gets the new memory of meeting um, Lee Gong. Mm -hmm. And like in this memory, she's like, she's like kind of, I think she's like slowly getting it or yep. remembering and she's like she's like telling herself like Taewoo go and hug him hug him I was just like How? or you regret it like or you regret it and then like they show the flashback mm -hmm. and yeah like Taewoo like sees him Li Gong gets off his horse originally Li Gong is the one who hugs Taewoo but in this version now mm -hmm. in the altered like timeline now it is Tae Ul who actually like hugs him, mm -hmm. and I'm just like, I don't know. I feel like it's kind of out of character. Yeah, because like I guess they're trying to tell us that you know Tae Ul knows what's going on, and if this man comes again, you know, grab on tight, don't let go. I guess kind of shit. I don't know. I mean, how? That's like she met this guy when she was like five years old, and then she meets him again, twenty-seven, and, and then, then like it's not like she like. I don't know, did she just, like, suddenly fall in love like, with him? Or unless, what, like, you know, they're, like, you know how they cut cuts a lot of scene out? Maybe they're just saying that, like, he's been constantly seeing her, maybe, again, and it's been a while, and then he meets her again. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. But maybe that's, that's what they're true, trying. then they should have showed it. Like, we can't, they just can't assume us to know that that happened, you know? <laughs> they should have showed it more. Like, I think, yeah, I think it would make sense if it showed that he actually went, like, multiple times to see her throughout her growing up mm -hmm. and i always i would see that she has more of a connection to him yeah. and that she would hug him but like if only see him once or twice or maybe three times it makes you fall in love i yeah i don't know man that's kind of crazy kinda weird like i would not hug that person i'm like i don't think in her character she would have hugged him too because yeah. she's kind of like don't touch me kind of person yeah she is i kind of do like this as aspect of him like going in the past and kind of like going to meet her it's mm -hmm. kind of like have you seen the uh the time traveler's wife movie no, but heard of the title yeah it's kind of like that and i love the time traveler's wife so it's kind of sweet in that way but i feel like they didn't do a really good job because you only going to see her twice and she's all like let me hug you <laughs> already i'm like okay what but i guess Li gong and Tae will always move too fast so whatever that's all we have for you guys. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Also, remember to ring the bell to get notifications on our new videos. Thank you for watching. Bye! Bye.